this phone. What you heard? No? Have you seen something? What have you seen? You dropped that. You dropped that, bugger. Well, oh, let me see then. I've got pecan for you. What you come frozen for? Hey, what does that mean? I don't know what that means, little guy. Hey, what does that mean? Taking concentration, that's for sure. Whatever could it be? I can't see anything. I can't hear anything. What is it? What is this strangeness? Want that one? Why don't you like those anymore? Hey? I don't know what's wrong with you these days. Down here, we've got this one. What are you looking at? We've got that one. Hey? There, that's what he's looking at. That dude there. Yep. Yeah. You see, you knew before I knew, didn't you? You knew before I knew. That's where I feed the other dudes, your neighbours. And they live just up in that tree, you know. There's two big fat ones. I saw them coming out this morning. Stretching and having a little bit of a play with each other, they were. No, you want to play, <laughs> you got your plain face on. I can see that. I can see you got your plain face on. You want to play? Hmm? Hmm? You want to play? Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. You're going to knock things down and scare yourself, ain't you? You play? You want to play? You don't know what that one is, do you? You know that one? No, it's just one of those black and white ones. That one won't hurt you. Nope. The only ones you have to worry about are the ones that go, ah! No, not like that, that's a crow. They're gonna go, ah! Ah! No, really, really squeaky high. Ah! I can't even do it. My voice, can't even do it. But it's the ones that squeak high. And the ones that have those sharp, pointed beaks, they're the ones that you've got to be worried about. None of those other ones. What have you seen? What have you seen? Hey. Have you seen something else? Oh, seen something. Go on then. Drink time. Yeah, it's tail business. Well, are you sure you don't want to go and bury one of them? I'm pretty sure you do. Oh, good boy, you're eating it. Because you do know all of those you bury. All the other guys find they've got more experience about that than you. 
here. Now I bought a bag of these pecan nuts. It cost me 13 quid and you've barely touched them since. Isn't that a thing? Now you just like those almonds. And almonds are something that never gets a mentioned when you listen or read about what squirrels are supposed to like. Hazelnuts and pecan nuts and walnuts. And yet you can't get enough of almonds. And then even some people say, don't feed them almonds. I'm like, what is wrong with you people? That they're a wild nut that can be foraged all over the UK and Europe. It's gonna have been part of their diet forever. Same as walnuts and same as hazelnuts. You don't have to get some stupid shit on the internet. 90% of it is stupid shit in relation to squirrels, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Everybody thinks they're a fucking scientist on the issue. But we showed them, didn't we? We shown them that you can make a big strong boy on scalded cow's milk. And we showed them also that you didn't like that shit formula that they tell you to give you. You said you ain't touching that shit. You want that one then? Well, if you don't want that one, then I don't know what to say. There's a few more of those little nuts down there, those uh, sunflowers. If you want to eat them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little jittery. What's he doing now? Hey, what's he doing now? You want to play? You want to play? Hey, he's going to run all around. Run all around. Hey. I think he does. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You want to go hoodie bab eyes? Oh, go on. <laughs> go on. Come on. In here. In your old place. You're going to drop that now, you dropped it. Now one of those other dudes is going to come round here on your patch because you're such a messy eater, isn't it? <laughs> you see what you like to do? You always got to come back, haven't you? Hey. You gotta come back to the security. Cause you know you're safe up here, don't you? Come on then. Come on. That's it. Well, I'll put the camera away. Go oh, there, there, there's that there he was. I just saw him. I just saw him. Yeah. I just saw him. I just saw him. Should we go down? Should we go down and have a look? Normally what happens is, is when we go down and have a look, you jump off me, don't you? Hmm? What is it now? What is it now? Hey, what is it now? All of a sudden, yeah, yeah, you come alive, haven't you? Because you know it's action time. Ow! Ow! Playing time. Action time. Yeah. Action time. Where's he gone now? Where's he gone now? I got him. I got him. Ooh, I got him. I got him. I got him. There he is. Ooh. There he is, he's back. 
Shall we go down there? Hey, come on, let's go down there, see what happens. You wanna see what's going down here? They've got some more nuts in there. Whoa, you've got a hazelnut. What are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with that, hey? What are you gonna do with that, my little mate? Well, you can you try and bury it in that corner? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be very well hidden, mate, to be fair. I think the other dudes are gonna find that. They are. Or are you just putting it there for the time being and then you'll pick it up just before you leave? I think that's probably it. I hope that's it. I hope you don't think you've hid that. Mm. And so you can smell all the other boys around here because there's no doubt they've been pissing around here. <laughs> so one day you're going to be able to get into those almonds and uh, hazelnuts. You are. Now, yeah, where's that other dude? He's all right. It's only me. Just rustling in the leaves. It's going to be a beautiful day. The sun's up. Yep. Now you look like a big boy. Eating from the bird table like the other squirrels. Instead of eating out of my hand, cuddled up next to my nice warm fleece. Yeah. It's going to be interesting what you do with that hazelnut. I'm going to keep watching you. Oh, there's another one. What are you going to do with that one then? What are you going to do with that one? You're going to bury it in them seeds. Oh, he's going to have a go at that. Heard you. Okay, there you go. Where are you going to put it? In there somewhere. Hey, where are you going with that? Oh, you're burying it in there, are you? Well, I don't think that's going to be very good. Come on. I don't think that's going to be very good at all. Go on, you go and get another one. Do you remember where you buried that? Little dude? Hey, you're going to remember. But what I know is those other boys and girls around here, that's their path. And they'll find that in an instant. But anyway, I'm happy that you, you're having a little bit of a go. I am, I'm very happy to see that. My little boys storing up some goodies for the year. What's that? That's a pigeon that was. That was a pigeon. You could kick their asses. You don't have to worry about them. Mind you, pigeons are pretty tough. They'll probably whack you with their wing. They might kick your ass. <laughs> so what we got going on here? A day in the life of Providence. I'd love to see what you get up to in them trees. What you're eating. And if you've made any friends. 
Now, what I know is that those other boys, they're up in the trees and they're watching. They're seeing that you have this relationship with me. And they know I'm the dude that's been feeding them for years. And then they see you come along with your posh houses. I suppose it's quite perplexing to them. But I'm sure in time you'll tell them your story, won't you? You'll tell them what went down. All I know is that he absolutely loves them. Can't get enough of sunflower seeds. They're the most favorite so far. He's up there. You heard him, you heard him, he's here. He's here. He's just up there. He's just over there somewhere. I bet he's thinking, you're eating all those goodies. Because they're his favourite too. Well, at least... You will leave... Oh, you're gonna... What are you gonna do with that one then, eh? Where are you gonna go with that one? Can you get into it? Hey? Where are you gonna put that one? Bury it... Bury it in that corner. Go on then, good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> Is he funny? I think he's funny. As long as you're saving them for later. Now I see he's not paying any attention to those uh, almonds there because they really are tough. I don't think he'd be able to get into one of those in a hurry. What are you going to leave any for your mates? Well, it doesn't matter because there's loads more on the floor. I'll put them on the floor for them as well. Uh, there he is. He's up there. He's up there. He's in that tree. He's just gone round the back of that tree. Up there he is. You see him? On that branch on the left. Wow. He's gone over in his direction. He just jumped up there, ran down there, and that other one was over there. Is he gone to kick his ass? Damn, I missed that a little bit. And he didn't take any of those nuts. Now, if he'd ran in that direction, I could see he was legging it. But the other one was just behind the trunk on the branch going up. And he jumped over there. There he is. There's my boy. Look at this boy coming back victorious. Yeah. He showed him who's boss. Good boy. Wow, look at that. You kicked ass, you did, my little guy. <laughs> Yo, you kicked some proper ass. <laughs> wow. Are you telling them? You tell them there. You tell them that tail sign language shit. You tell them that, boy. Go on, then. Yeah, well, isn't that a thing? He sent that dude leg in it, and he's twice the size of you. It's like, all of a sudden, you just thought, fuck it, you're too close now. I'm gonna come and kick your ass. Yeah. Well, that super impressed daddy, that did. Very impressive.
so there's no reason why I should be worried about you. Not now, I saw what you can do. No messing. Straight up there, flew over there, didn't you? And then came flying back through the air. Landing on your territory. It's going to be interesting to see what you think of the snow and the frost. Isn't it? What are you going to think of that business? Well, we've almost had all them. Seems like you're not going to even leave one. Now, from my calculations, it'll be about 40 that you've eaten so far. Yet at least 20 in my hand. Mm-hmm. So, what am I going to call this video? I think I'm going to call it Providence Kicks Ass. Yeah. Providence shows them who's boss. I know where I've got my money now in future. He's my beautiful boy. He's my beautiful boy. So the others won't have any sunflower seeds here, but you see down on the floor there, there's loads of them there, along with those um, monkey nuts. But the, uh, the jackdaws, I've got the eye on them, and they'll be down in a second as soon as I've gone for them. You about done now? Yep, I think you are. Well, I think we'll go back up to um, your place now. What about those hazelnuts? Hey, what about them? You're going to be burying one of them, little dude. Oh, this one. Go on then. What are you going to do with that? You're going to go up there. That's it. Going back towards his neck of the woods. See if he comes out here. Looks like he's gone down into the garden. That's where they like to bury most of the stuff. So um, I introduced him to that and getting him more confident with eating there because in the winter time, I want him to eat along with all the rest of them. I want him to have confidence. Uh, and of course, if it's minus something, I'm not standing here for like half an hour like I do each morning. I'm just gonna be uh, out here put the food out and then i'm going to go back in maybe hang out for like five or ten minutes but um so there we have it now then who's that one that one was a bigger one uh bigger one's coming down now of course they all know me and they're not bothered I open my window sometimes and I throw down uh, some bread or some uh, chopped apple when they're eating down here and the, the, the about 20 pieces of apple scatter all around them and they don't run away because they know that's not a problem and uh, if there's any other birds uh, hanging around here feeding as soon as you open the window they're gone because they're not as smart as the squirrels the squirrels you know know what's a danger and what's not whereas birds they're just gone Ooh! 
Oh, <laughs> someone just jumped up the back of me. What was that? <laughs> you scared me, you did. You just jumped with your cutters up the back of my legs. Hey, I was like, what's that? Got another one, Got another one. Hey, hmm, you're, you're full of it now, aren't you? Shall I get you another one? Come on then. Hey, you got in my hoodie? I'll give you one more, shall I? This one. This one. You got it. What are you going to do with it? Hey, you got there. Go on then. Isn't that beautiful? All of a sudden he just comes out of nowhere launching up on me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> well, I'll, um, I'll wait another couple of minutes and see if he comes back for a play. He looks like he's very playful this morning. Once he's had a good feed, then it's time for like five minutes play. And uh, then the other squirrels will be down for the remnants. So we put them there. Here he is. <laughs> what are you going to do then? Anyway. Oh, there he comes. And here he comes. Right, put that in that pocket. I'm gonna um You wanna play this morning, eh? You wanna play? You wanna play with daddy? Mm. Hey, hey It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. What are you seeing? What's over there? Me? Hey. Why? Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Gonna get him, gonna get him. Yeah. Go up there. I can hear them. Well, what a beautiful morning we've had today. Usually you just eat um, a few nuts and then you're gone. But today you're kicking ass, you're showing them that this is your pad. You're having a lot of fun with daddy. Yeah. That's beautiful, that is. So what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to come back to Daddy again, huh? Wow. You're spending a lot of time with me now. You are. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Achoo! 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 He's having a tickle now. Why oh, is his head being tickled? Yeah, he does. Ow. Come on, baby. Well, I can feel your belly's full. 
can feel your belly's full, can't I? Hey, the camera shy. I think you're a bit camera shy today, aren't you? There he goes. All right, I'll see you later, yeah? Have a good day. Well, that was beautiful, that was. Beautiful interaction with a wild animal who is friends with a human being. Now, it doesn't get better than that, does it? Can we imagine if we didn't kill any animals that never need to be afraid of us and we could all just live together and have a beautiful time together like it depicts in heaven where all the animals and all humans are living together is this possible? there's the other one with the big squirrels back it is possible and in you know some countries some parts of the world people do live you know very handsomely with all their natural environment around them it's just a mindset if we ever got into that heaven mindset which was just appreciating this beautiful world for what it is heaven it is actually heaven there's no place up in the sky even when heaven's depicted up in the sky you've got trees and birds and all different sorts of animals it's here people Heaven is a state of mind. And this, what I'm doing here, is a little bit of heaven for me. And so we can create this. And I'm sure lots of you have got pets and you enjoy a similar sort of little bit of heaven when you've got that connection with that beautiful creature.